Ultra Miley's Twerkathon TV special. Taylor Swift celebrates America with a slip and slide. And Harry Styles is favoriting porn on Twitter? Oh gosh, we have got all of that and a lot more on today's rundown. Happy Monday, friends Hi. out there. Aaron Robinson and Misty King are here. We missed you guys on Friday, but so we're much. back. Yes. yes, we are. And back in a big way because this show is out of control, yeah, jam-packed, and Misty is getting us caught up in our top story. If you can't make it to Miley's Bangers Tour, have no fear because last night on NBC they aired a two-hour concert special feature and a lot of twerking. And it was mostly like her Barcelona concert that they filmed mixed with some backstage footage of her at her hotel and backstage at the show. So aside from all these like crazy props that we know she has, all the weird animations on the screen, getting weird gifts from fans, here are our five highlights from the special. You ready, Erin? I'm so ready. Okay, at first, duh, twerking. <laughs> Everywhere. She, she showed her booty like the beginning of the show and then towards the end she got on the bed and did this little twerk number, which reminds me of Kesha. Uh-huh. Wouldn't be a show without that. <laughs> little twerking. Okay, number two highlight was um, these backstage hotel moments. It was mostly her hanging out with her sister Noah, Noah. like mm -hmm. in the hotel and stuff. But there was this part where she went in the bathroom with her brother Brayson, who was there. He was on guitar, and she sang Dolly Parton's song Sugar Hill. And Noah was in the bathtub and did this. We were just kids, boring age, learning more than we should know. Shoot, 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 sugar hill memories. Wouldn't be a show without some weirdness. Uh, Noah's Noah's gonna have a music career, I think. I think she's gonna try to follow in Miley's or a dancing career. She does a lot of dancing True. with Miley, I Good will point. say. Yes. All right. So our third highlight, her tribute to Floyd. Of course, she sings "Can't Be Tamed," where there's a huge blow up Floyd doll. But it was in her next song, "Adore You," where she did she dedicated this song to him, and she was carrying this little stuffed animal and like. So for the kiss cam, she was like making out this stuffed animal as if it was Floyd. Yeah, it was really interesting. <laughs> it yeah. was cute. Uh, I don't know if I liked seeing all the strangers make out on national television. Did you like that? Oh, uh, I thought it was great. Yeah. Spread the love. Spread the Hashtag love. Hashtag <laughs> spread the love. But she did say it was like the worst April Fool's Day ever, of course. She did admit that when Floyd died in April, that that actually made her sick and did send her to the hospital. So, yeah, yeah. really sad stuff. All right, our number four highlight. Um, if Miley ever quits her singing career, I think she has a future as a life coach. Oh, uh, really? So she kept talking about how much she loves to inspire her fans. And there's this one quote where she says, when they're there and I see the faces, I feel like they're learning and they feel safe in there. In the concert arena. That's a very- They're learning. She's an artist for sure. That is definitely an artist's response to a question about what, <laughs> about your fans. Yeah, they're inspiring learning. the fans. They're learning, they're learning. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, I thought the special was when she, when you saw her strip down like this, when she was uh -huh. giving advice or talking about Floyd, it was really interesting to see her kind of open up in an uh -huh. intimate way. I liked seeing that side of her. Her version of intimacy. Right. She also said this great quote from her dad. The turkey with the longest neck is the one everyone is shooting at. So yeah. She's the That's turkey with the longest neck. Slang. Yeah. I liked it. I like that part I like for it. sure. All right, our last highlight from the show, you guys. So Brayson, actually, who is in film school right now, he actually went on stage and played guitar for her during Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Take a look. Some brother, sisterly love there, yeah, it was right? Like a family affair. I loved it. Yeah, gotta love that about Miley. Speaking of families and some love, uh, we have so much couples news today. Yeah. So brace yourself. First of all, Jessica Simpson got married in a surprise wedding this weekend to her fiance of 80 months. Eric Johnson, can you believe it? 80 months? Eng engaged for 80 months. That's such what? a long time. <laughs> so, long time coming, big surprise, a big wedding, 250 people. Uh -huh. Jessica's dad officiated the ceremony. Her son, Ace was the ring bearer and their two-year-old daughter Maxwell was the flower girl. She's the cutest thing ever. Oh my gosh, these kids are gorgeous. Adorable. Um, there were a ton of celebrities there. Jessica Alba was there. Right. Her, her husband, of course, Ashley Simpson was there. Um, it was just supposedly this really beautiful affair and not really that intimate with 250 people, but Jessica told People Magazine that this was the happiest moment of their lives. So 
Big congrats. But what about the dress? I hate that we haven't seen a photo yet. It's gonna be coming in People Magazine, but it was a Carolina Herrera gown. She wore an Neil Lane uh, diamond, so she's gonna be gorgeous. And I remember when she got married to Nick like some odd years ago, uh -huh. that image in my head of her wedding dress that day is stuck forever. So nope, I, you gotta brush that aside. I gotta get rid of it and put a new photo in yeah. its place. In other couples news, what? this is kind of just hitting the web right now. We found out that Scooter Braun had a wedding this weekend, married his now bride. Her name is Yale Cohen. Um, she is an advocate for like cancer research, uh -huh. which is really cool. She's gorgeous. But they were kind of upstaged at their own wedding because Justin Bieber performed twice yeah. at their wedding, which isn't shocking because they are so close. Yeah. So he performed during the wedding. All you need is love. Take a look. All you need is love, love, love is all. Better because Beatles. Justin, yeah, I know. If it can, you can imagine, gets better than the Beatles. Justin performed a duet with Carly Rae Jepsen. OMG. Call me maybe. Take a look. Some performances. Ed Sheeran was there and performed. And Asher Roth? Yeah. They, no Diggity? They performed No Diggity together, which was really great. So, what a busy July 4th weekend. I know. Can I have been invited to one of those weddings? Um, that's right. Now, what a busy 4th of July weekend it was. Speaking of festivities, oh. lots more happening. So much partying this weekend. Taylor Swift threw down like I've never seen her throw I down know. before. Where this was weekend. our invite? In her Rhode Island home. She probably didn't invite us because, you know, we live so far away. We're so right, busy right, with right. DHR. She could have flown us out. Maybe, but she had a lot of other guests there to mm -hmm. attend to. Big party. A ton of her girlfriends were there, um, including Lena Dunham, yeah. Jamie, um, King. Jamie King, Emma Stone, Andrew Garfield. Of course. So it was a star-studded event, but what I really loved about it is there were so many normal, fun family things they all did together. Right. Of course, they started off the partying with Taylor Swift jumping into a pool into a big inflatable turtle slip and slide because it was slide. some bad weather it was so raining. they made the best of it they made the best of it there were sparklers and there was a lot of baking Taylor and her friends mm -hmm. made this tasty looking cake and this tasty looking pie like I would have just wanted to be there just to eat the food I in my know opinion. but then I would have wanted to get in my bathing suit because I would have eaten all that food oh everybody would have been in the same boat you would have fine <laughs> speaking of boats they were out on a yacht with all mm -hmm. of their friends doing you know yacht eating East Coast things that people do. I don't know. Of whatever course. That is. And um, also, all of the crew got together and just like simultaneously jumped into the ocean together, almost looking like her music video for 22. Oh. It actually felt a lot like 22, this party. So, super awesome. Really sad I didn't get invited, but it was just lost in the mail. Right. Taylor isn't the only person documenting their weekend online. Yeah, Harry Styles. His <laughs> fandom is completely freaking out today. So last night, some fan found out or realized that Harry Styles had favorited on Twitter this super explicit tweet. It was an image of some fingers doing a naughty thing in a naughty place, and the caption read, retweet if you'd lick me clean. So then the hashtag started, Harry, don't lick anything. <laughs> it was trending. Forever. It was trending for like 24 yeah. hours, of course. <laughs> so there's lots of theories as to what could have happened. He has, of course, since deleted the picture, and he did replace it with like 10 favorited photos of kitties and puppies, which is just amazing. Yeah, I think that there's some comedy there. Yeah. I think that's funny. So what do you think happened? Um, I think that someone, maybe a fan, hacked into his account. Or like, the 1D guys pranked him. They did it. I don't think so. Because they've had so much drama with That's the true. pot stuff, right. they wouldn't the have done that. The weed video, Yeah, they're, they're trying to stay squeaky clean for now. Or so. did Harry himself do it? Oh, I hope not. Was I don't it, think or so. Or was it an accident? There's yeah. so many theories. I don't think it happened. I think somebody hacked him. All right, all right. That's we'll fine. let you guys decide. So, you know, every Friday we pick a cleverette, and we're trying to give you guys some some um, ideas on how to spunk up the comments because yes. it's just getting too hard to pick. So this week, inspired by Taylor Swift, we want you all to let us know um, if you could throw a dream party, who would you invite and what would you do? I would invite Theo James. 
and it would be a party. In It'd my be bedroom. a wedding party. Yes, exactly. Okay, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us today on the Daily Hollywood Rundown. Misty, Aaron, Bye. happy Monday. We'll see you tomorrow. OMG, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's show. We missed you over the weekend, but if you want to catch up on Thursday's show, click that video box right there, and we will see you right here tomorrow.